What's good, Florida Sage High School? Welcome back to Travel Review. On today's episode, we'll have results from the Red and White Brigade first competition of the season. Also on the show, we'll get to learn more about our advisory time. And I'll have results from all the latest sporting events. All this and more coming up on Travel Review. TLC Automotive is an independent family owned auto repair and maintenance facility that provides vehicle inspections, oil changes, wheel alignment, engine repair, and much more. Open 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, closed Saturdays and Sundays. Giving straight answers that you can trust about your vehicle is what we do at TLC Automotive. Located at 22 East Walnut, Independence, Missouri, call Jim Carlson at 816-833-4411 to schedule an appointment. Hey Florida State High School, I'm Nevea Chavez. September is National Hispanic Latina Heritage Month. I find it very exciting to learn about new cultures, so if you're interested, go ahead and learn about the Hispanic culture. And I'm Lillian Barris. Today is Wednesday, September 29th, 2021, and here are your latest school news stories. The Red and White Brigade competed at KC Championships at Blue Spring South High School. On September 25th, they placed in 7th and they will perform again October 2nd. The school administration was implemented in the advisory class period this year. Tribal Review reporter Kylie Dunn found out how the new change is affecting a teacher and their students. Advisory is on Mondays and Wednesdays. Dr. Leo Bach finds that advisory fulfills its purpose. I know the committee of teachers who put it together really intended for it to be useful to help kids who are struggling in school or who are just a little bit overwhelmed due to time management and um, possibly get their grades up and keep their grades up, maintain the workload that they need to do. In my room, it is absolutely meeting that need. So I'm really pleased with that. Mondays are grade checks and Wednesdays are travel days. Landon Lamb believes that advisory needs changes. Less work time. I like to just chill, just be on my phone and do anything by me. Yeah, that's really it. Advisory started this year and replaced Star Time. Nevea Wilson thinks that advisory is long. I think the name is fine. I think a lot of people are more used to advisory, like the name advisory, because it's from the middle school. And scheduling, um, I think it should be after lunch because I don't really. I think the time of advisory kind of like drags out, like, because everybody's like looking forward to like lunch. Mr. Zuber and Mr. Badad work on the advisory schedule together. This is Kylie Dunn reporting for Channel Review. Thanks, Kylie. It'll be interesting to see how advisory plays out the rest of the year. Yes, it's something different, so there's always growing pains. After the break, we'll learn about one of our senior softball players, so stay online with us and we'll be right back. Craig Pulver once said, a customer knows good value when they taste it. And that statement holds true when tasting Culver's delicious Wisconsin cheese curds. Come in or carry out and let Culver's welcome you to deliciousness. Welcome back. We'll now take a look at the senior athlete and role model in our school. Savannah Shore is involved with softball and student council. She, will also, she was also named homecoming queen. Here's cub reporter Destiny McDonald with the story. And she bunts it here out to third baseman. Savannah, Savannah Shore is the third baseman for our softball team. She feels athletes should always work hard. Try your best to take someone's spot um, and work your hardest every practice and every game. Savannah is the 2021 Fort Osage homecoming queen. Coach Sullivan believes she has a very good work ethic and has a positive attitude. She's a very hard worker. Um, she's one of the people that are on the field that probably um, put in a lot of work, have a great attitude about it, um, and help her teammates to do the same. Savannah is a four-year Stuco member and currently serves as senior class president. Araya Morton knows she can go to Savannah for advice. She is somebody that I can go to. She's very knowledgeable, and even if she isn't for sure, she can give you like strong advice to help you work through the situation. 
and she's always got your back no matter what. Savannah is verbally committed to Kansas City, Kansas Community College. I'm Destiny McDonald reporting for Tribal Review. Thanks, Destiny. I never really met Savannah, but she seems pretty cool. Yeah, and it's, it's nice to see her excel her final year of high school. Ethan Lamb now joins us for the Indian Sports Report. Hey, Ethan, what's happening this past week with our Indians? The fall sports teams continue to succeed. I'll have updates after this break. Enjoy Toscanos in our new waiting and dining area while catching up on your favorite sporting events on our big screen TVs. Come in and try the freshly made pizzas served with our homemade bread. Or try some of our favorites like the spinach artichoke chicken pasta or lasagna. Also, if you're in the mood for something new, try the spicy penne rustica or spaghetti carbonara. Let Renee and John treat you to a taste of Little Italy at Toscano's, located at 312 South Hudson Street, Buckner, Missouri. Hey guys, I'm Ethan Lamb with your Indian Sports Report. The varsity football team traveled to Belton on September 24th where they destroyed the Pirates 31-3. The Indians put up 575 total offensive yards while holding Belton to 189. Javen Hall led all rushers with 71 yards, while Lorenzo Fenner led the receiving core with 79 yards. David Hawkins continued to anchor the defense with 10 solo and two assisted tackles, including two sacks. The team now sits at 4-1 on the season. The varsity softball team had a busy week and a weekend. Started off last week with a big 4-2 conference win over Belton. Bailey Renicki led the offense with his long double to left field fence and went on to score twice in the game. Emma James pitched a complete game and had six strikeouts, including the swing and a miss in the top of the second. The team competed in the September Slam hosted by Liberty High School on September 24th and 25th. They lost the first game to Troy Buchanan 9-5. They defeated Boonville 11-7. Don McIntyre led the team from the plate by going 3-3 three for three with two doubles and two RBIs. Madison Hasty earned the win from the pitching circle, striking out three Pirates. They dropped the next two games in the tournament, one to Liberty, Four to three, and the other to Troy Buchanan six to three. They bounced back to defeat Truman fourteen to two, where Haley Miller went three for three, including a home run and driving in three RBIs. Anna Morton earned the win from the rubber, allowing seven hits and two earned runs. The team then returned to conference play with a road game against William Christman. The Indians dominated with a twenty-seven to nine win over the Bears. Araya Morton and Madison Hasty batted in three runs each, and Hasty earned the win from the pitching circle by fanning five Bears. The team is now fifteen and seven on the season. The girls' tennis team hosted Truman on September 23rd and lost to the Patriots 7-2. For the season, they are 6-4 and four in match play. The volleyball team then traveled down to 24 Highway to William Christman and lost to the Bears three sets to none on September 23rd. The girls' season now sits at 3-6-1 and one on the season. The varsity soccer team hosted Oak Park on September 22nd and defeated the Northmen 1-0. It was a good defensive battle featuring great goaltending by both keepers. Angel Corneo was able to sneak the ball past the goal line in this melee of players early in the first half, and it was all the Indians needed to secure the key conference victory. The girls' golf team competed in the Independence Invitational at Drum Farm. The team shot a 49, 495 overall. Ashlyn Button led the Indians with a 114, and McKenna Gilpin shot a 119 to lead the Indians. Well, that's all for your Indian Sports Report. I'm Ethan Lamb. Nevea and Lillian will have more news after the break. TLC Automotive is a local, fast, and great way to get your car fixed. TLC offers oil changes, brake checks, vehicle inspections, and much more. Contact Jim Carlson at 816-833-4411 to schedule an appointment. Welcome back. It's time for this week's Tom Tom Talk. Reporter Bailey Redicki went around to find out what's your guys' favorite fall school activities. The fall season recently started and I wanted to figure out what everyone's favorite fall activity was. Uh, softball, because it's fun. Uh, my favorite fall activity is football because it's fun and I don't know, I'll play. Um, probably football because it's like the most energetic and everybody goes. Uh, fall activity, uh, probably football because uh, it is you know, it's a lot of fun going in the games. Football, because the student section's lit. Football, because I get to hit people. Uh, softball games, because they're just fun to watch. I like watching scary movies, because it gets me into the, you know, Halloween feeling. Soccer, and because I play it. Um, it's probably, like, 
watching scary movies because I like Halloween, I guess. My favorite fall activity would have to be softball because it's one of my favorite sports and watching scary movies because it gets me in the mood for October and Halloween. This is Bailey Renicki reporting for Tribal Review. Thanks, Bailey. With the school fall sports, I love football. Um, I don't really have a favorite activity, but I do enjoy the fall weather. Florida Sage Grad is hosting 6th Annual Fall Vendor and Craft Festival on Saturday, October 16th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Come browse booths filled with local crafts and unique items. Proceeds from the fair go to support the safe graduation celebration from the class of 2022. The Indian Legends Yearbook is now available for online ordering. Go to www.yearbookordercenter.com and enter 3771, then click on Order a Yearbook. Early bird pricing is available, so order now. Nameplates are only available until Thanksgiving. Email stewpub at fortosage.net if you have any questions. As always, if you're looking for more news and information about Fortosage High School, you can always find additional coverage at fohssignal.net. There you will find stories about the students and activities of the school, so check it out today. Well, that's it for today's show. I'm Nevaeh Chavez. I'm Lillian Bears. And I'm Ethan Lamb. Thanks for watching.